Two men were shot dead by a gunman on Peachan Street in downtown Kingston on Wednesday. They have been identified as 52-year-old Leroy Sullivan from Beckford Street in downtown and Leroy Biggs White, 45, from Cedar Valley Road, Kingston 6. Information reaching Observer Online is that around 5.45 p.m., both men were sitting on a wooden stall on Peachan Street when they were pounced upon by a gunman traveling in a white pro box motor car. The gunman police said opened fire and sprayed the two with bullets before fleeing in the vehicle. The two injured men were transported to the Kingston Public Hospital where they were pronounced dead on arrival. The bodies were later removed to the morgue. No motive has yet been established for the killing. A man who was on bail on a murder charge was shot dead by a gunman at a restaurant at Bell High Road in Grange Hill, Westmoreland, Thursday morning. The deceased identified as 25-year-old O.J. Davidson, otherwise called Six Boss from Church, Lincoln District in Grange Hill, should not have been in the parish as a condition of his bail, police said. It was reported that around 8.15 a.m., Davidson visited a nearby restaurant where he ordered breakfast and went outside. Police said while waiting to be served, he was pounced upon by a gunman who opened fire eating him multiple times in the upper body. Davidson ran inside the restaurant where he collapsed. The gunman escaped on foot in the area. Davidson, the police said, was taken to Savannah Mar Hospital where he was pronounced dead. The body was later transported to the morgue pending a post-mortem. Police are probing a suspected case of drowning involving a woman whose body was found on Thursday in a river, four days after she was reported missing in Silo, St. Elizabeth. Police named the woman as Kashiba Brown, 23 otherwise called Kash, a resident of Silo District in Northern St. Elizabeth. Councillor Audie Myers of the People's National Party, Silo Division, told Observer Online that Brown's body was retrieved by citizens from a tributary of the Black River about 1 p.m. on Thursday. Police confirmed that citizens found the body and alerted them.